Namaskar it's Yogi here and today in this video we are going to learn about how to hunt for Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance XSS or CVE 2020-3580 out in the wild here i will show you how to quickly detect the patterns for this CVE in your target so what is CVE 2020-3580 back in october 2020 multiple vulnerabilities in the web services interface of Cisco ASA and Cisco FTP software would allow an unauthenticated remote attacker to conduct cross-site scripting attacks. The vulnerabilities arise mostly due to insufficient validation of user supplied input by the web services interface of the affected device. To exploit any of this, an attacker would need to convince a user of the interface to click on a specially crafted link. Successful exploitation would allow the attacker to execute arbitrary code within the interface and access sensitive and browser-based information. However, the vulnerabilities affect only specific AnyConnect and WebVPN configurations. Now let's move on to the practical and see how we can detect this. Moving over to practical, we'll learn about how to detect Cisco SNXSS in our target. So let's consider our target to be Carmax.com will gather subdomains of cardmax.com. You can use Amas, Subfinder, Find Domain, Sublister or any other tool to do so. But here we are going to use subdomainfinder.nl to search for subdomains. So, let me reload our page. Let's do the scan. And as you can see, we have got the subdomains of our target. From the results, we will filter out the subdomains which have VPN in it. If you have subdomain list which you have gathered from any tools like I told earlier, like Amma Subfinder, use grep to filter those out and put it in a separate file. Here I will just find out those one which has VPN in it. And later I will put it to a separate file. Okay, so as you can see, actually we have got three total subdomains, but out of them, two are live and one is dead. I guess this one is dead. Yeah, so I'll put the previous two ones in a separate file. So I will just copy this one out and I will paste this. Oh, I think I'll save the file. Now I will use Nuclei to scan the filtered subdomain. And the template we will use for this is this. So if you have Nuclei installed on your machine, it will be there in the Nuclei templates folder. So moving on to our terminal. Let's use the command will be nuclei minus L followed by the subdomain list. I mean the filter subdomain list and followed by the nuclei templates. Now 
let's copy the template name hit enter okay as you can see nuclei has detected the cisco s and xss in our target and that's how you can detect cv2020 3580 in your target and now we'll move on to its exploitation moving on to exploitation we have already detected the vulnerable endpoint through nuclei now we can create a simple request like this so this is a post request where we are submitting our xss payload in our target website's endpoint with the help of the parameter simon response now you can host this on your website and can send the link to your victim thus you can clearly obtain victim's cookies so if we click on it we can see the xss is being executed on our target endpoint so that's it for this video i hope you like it share it to your friends and tell me down in comments what video you want next thank you